You have acquired all kinds of information. You know how to take care of your baby's basic needs, feeding, changing, and keeping baby safe. But what you may not have been told is that in order to develop your baby's full potential, you need to start working with exercise and repositioning shortly after birth. Flathead syndrome is largely a result of lack of movement and repositioning within the first six months of life. As a pediatrician and mama four, I am on a mission to try to prevent flathead syndrome. And I'd like to empower you as a parent to be able to have the tools and the knowledge to prevent flathead syndrome in your baby. The first six months of life are the most important time in your baby's brain growth and development. Movement is key. Flathead syndrome has become a huge problem. Plagiocephaly, flathead syndrome, has increased by 600% since 1992. 100% of babies are at risk, and now nearly one in every two babies by the age of five months are actually showing the signs of the problem. Plagiocephaly is where the baby develops a flat spot on their skull. Torticollis is when the neck muscle shortens many times because the baby's relaxed and asleep, having the head fall to the side, that neck muscle tightens up. The problem with that is that after a very few weeks, many times that baby's neck muscle is tight enough that it's actually tender when the mom or the dad would try to position the baby to the other side. It's not genetic, it's completely preventable. But many times, the moms and dads are totally unaware of the problem till it actually happens to their baby. If a custom helmet is used and the head is made perfectly round, unfortunately, that does not address the other medical problems that may have developed during that time period. Portal offers a common sense solution through its FDA cleared patented positioning role to provide support and repositioning for baby's head while encouraging the necessary movement required for baby's development. Total is best used during the supervised time of the day when mom or dad is taking the baby out in the stroller, the car seat or the bouncer. The total is used with the positioning role placed behind perhaps the left ear. Two to three hours later I would recommend that the positioning role be placed behind the right ear. It can also be used in the crib during supervised time. I really don't recommend it for sleep at night. If the baby has a little bit of a flat spot, the positioning role should be placed right on that spot. If in fact the flat spot seems to be increasing or not improving, my suggestion would be to take the baby in to see your pediatrician and have the flat spot evaluated. For best results, turtles should be worn a minimum of six to eight hours a day, alternating the positioning roll from one side to the other every two to three hours. Remember the positioning roll should never be placed over or in front of the ears. Be sure to change which arm you use to hold or feed your baby. Place baby's head on alternate sides of the crib. The crib is a great place to make change. You can put the baby's head at one end and then transfer it to the other end. The beauty of that is babies tend to look out of the crib. And remember to practice tummy time. Tummy time is a really important activity for your baby. I really would suggest that you start tummy time right from the get-go when that baby is just first at home. The beauty of tummy time, and it's really recommended by the Academy of Pediatrics, is that it actually strengthens those neck muscles as the baby lifts the head up, and it also creates a lot of good exercise for the upper body. I'm trying to provide parents with the tools and the knowledge so that they personally can prevent flathead syndrome in their own children. <music>